In this video, I'm going to explain the Windows Server 2025 changes for domain controller location and how they might impact you if you have an Active Directory environment where NetBIOS name resolution is used by some older line of business applications or services. Active Directory domains always have two distinct names, the DNS, Fully Qualified Domain Name, FQDN, and the NetBIOS domain name. NetBIOS domain names have legacy length and other constraints. For example, NetBIOS domain names are limited to 15 characters. For historical reasons, the NetBIOS domain name of an Active Directory domain isn't required to be related in any way to the first component of the Active Directory domain's DNS fully qualified domain name. This behavior goes back to the days when organizations were transitioning from Windows NT4 to Windows 2000. For example, the NetBIOS domain name might be for Brickham and the Active Directory domain's DNS fully qualified domain name might be contoso.com. DC location refers to the algorithm by which a client computer finds a suitable domain controller. DC location is a critical baseline functionality in all enterprise environments. DCs perform a variety of important jobs, and if a domain joined client computer is unable to find a DC, the whole shenanigan grinds to a halt. DC location in Windows can operate in two basic modes, DNS-based discovery and NetBIOS-based discovery. DNS-based discovery is based on domain controller advertisement via DNS. Domain controllers register various SRV records in DNS. Examples include records that represent key capabilities. For example, locating the key distribution center or global catalog or records that describe locality, such as Active Directory site records. Client computers query DNS for the appropriate SRV records and then ping those servers by using UDP-based LDAP pings. NetBIOS-based discovery is based on domain controllers first registering records in Windows Internet Name Service, WINS. Clients query WINS for the appropriate records, followed by pinging the possible target candidate DCs. A variant of this NetBIOS mode uses a broadcast mechanism supported by mail slot messages. In this mechanism, the client broadcasts packets on its local network to look for DCs. These two methods have been available for almost 25 years. Where things get complicated is that with Windows Server 2025, mail slots and wins are being deprecated. Though having said that, the death of wins has long been foretold in the prophecies but has yet to occur. When an application requests a DC but specifies a short net BIOS style domain name, DC location always tries to map that short domain name to a DNS domain name. If DC location finds such a mapping, it then uses DNS-based discovery with the mapped DNS domain name. NetBIOS style domain names are historically mapped to DNS domain names via multiple sources in the following order. 1. Cached information from a previous lookup. 2. All domains in the current forest. Three, top level names for all trusting forest trusts and external trusts. Four, sign in sessions on the client machine. When none of these sources can find a DNS domain name, DC location can proceed with NetBIOS based discovery by using the original NetBIOS style short domain name. The deprecation of WINS and mail slot messages means that those mechanisms are no longer available as a fallback option when applications specify short net BIOS style domain names. This deprecation may cause disruption in some environments. So let me tell you how you can fix it if that happens to you. If an application or environment requires other domain name mappings that other sources don't automatically provide, Forest administrators can configure custom mappings from DNS domain name to net BIOS domain name at the forest level. You can configure these mappings by using the Active Directory domains and trusts management snap-in as follows. 
Open Active Directory Domains and Trusts. Right click the forest root domain. Select Properties. Select the DC Locator Mappings tab. Add the net BIOS names that you want to map to a specific domain name. The net logon service on clients then downloads and caches the custom mappings in the DC Locator Domain Name Mappings object every 12 hours. This information is then automatically used when you're mapping NetBIOS style domain names to DNS domain names. There is also a group policy item that you can configure to disable NetBIOS base discovery for domain controller location. This policy is located in the Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Net Logon, DC Locator DNS Records folder and is named Block Net BIOS Based Discovery for Domain Controller Location. You can set this to true or false. If you set it to true, which is the recommendation, then Net BIOS Based Discovery is blocked. All of this is available with Windows Server 2025. If you are still running older versions of Windows Server as your DCs, then you are unlikely to see the DC Locator Mappings tab in the Domain Properties. When you do eventually upgrade your Active Directory environment to Windows Server 2025, keep this video in mind if you encounter some odd errors related to name resolution with some of your organization's ancient applications and services.